And here we have the opening of Feeling Inked, Darwin Visual Artists, McMinn Street. This is my centerpiece, the piece that sort of like uh, says a lot about my artwork uh, these days, which is like very detailed pen and ink um, in, in upcycled frames. So these were doors found from an old cabinet at the recycling centre at Royal Shoal Bay in Darwin, and I turned them upside down and upcycled them, and then depicted two Australian magpies inside after making the frames look a bit shabby chic. A pair of magpies in eucalyptus. So that's sort of the very detailed, almost meditative work. Brings out the calm in the artist. And then we have a sort of a, another extreme, so on either side of these, we have a sort of skyline, a Darwin skyline, with Chinese ink and watercolour, sort of splashed in and quite evocative of the Darwin, in, perhaps in the wet season, um, but certainly in the tropics. Again, another upcycled frame. This frame was sort of uh, painted white and then uh, so, Placed in a bit of gold mica, rubbed that in, and before varnishing and waxing it up, gives it a nice, slightly antique look and sheen. Um, and we have a partner piece here, use of a different style of frame, another Darwin skyline from the water side, um, and then frenetic uh, use of Chinese ink and paint. The same style used here, this was the starting piece for the whole exhibition in South Australia at Grange Jetty. This began the journey. This sort of takes a style from that which I started using in Edinburgh at uh, North Berwick and Bass Rock. I tend to love this type of style um, and you're getting an, a similar type of representation of Stokes Hill Wharf just in the Darwin Harbour and then uh, further along from Stokes Hill Wharf if you walk further along you'll come to an outlook this, this is across Darwin Harbour to the right of this view slightly is mica beach and then this is to the left slightly with the dry season fires the controlled bushfires that happen this is to stop the wildfires getting out of control and then we come back to a another controlled pen and ink work so again this is sort of a more meditative and detailed methodical style this is like using pen and ink in drawing as a as, as you know fundamental craft. So we're depicting the koala here who's looking extremely relaxed and smiley. Another upcycled frame then just so uh, uh, taking old frames and sanding them and then painting them up and then knocking them back, distressing them slightly before final wax. Gives it a nice sheen. And then again we're in just Chinese ink here. So uh, we've got a very energetic reaction to the uh, environment. So the, the, the Grange jetty here, sitting beside it next to the sea and then allowing the energy of the sea to come through with the application of the Chinese ink and then cascading water into it to help give the energy of the piece. And then we have another similar piece uh, when we stopped off. I stopped off with uh, on the journey to back up to Darwin. We stopped at uh, Port Germain and had about oh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes before the sun sets. So it's sort of like late afternoon beside the sea here. 
you know, the old lighthouse to the right hand side and there was a tractor pulling in a boat, a boat at the time. So I had to be very quick and that's the lovely thing about Chinese ink. Set up, paint the sketch, add your watercolour, give it a real sort of, you've got the brush uh, to, to, to see the scene before it gets dark. And then we have another further along the coastline from Stokes Hill Wharf. We've got uh, an, uh, another scene using a bit more of a distressed frame depicting the, the trees in the foreground here. Really nice hot tropical summer day and then or dry season day I should say and then the clouds in the distance of the billowing bushfires and uh, distressing the frame and using crackle glaze to give it a like an old look so we can get the perspective of it there and then we go on to another use of pen and ink here which is an indelible, indelible style of ink so this once you touch the watercolour paper with this it doesn't come back out of solution once you add watercolour to it so or water to it. So you can use, after you've done your initial pen and ink drawing, you can add watercolour to it. So these are limited edition prints of two originals, which now in Adelaide. This is the uh, Musley uh, lorikeet, beautiful bird. And then its partner piece, the rainbow lorikeet in eucalyptus. So you can see the eucalyptus flower. So this is a limited edition to 100, no sorry, 50 of each, so 100 in total, but 50 of each piece. And then we have another limited edition print. This is limited edition 100, so this is a prize winning piece from previous exhibition. And so an example of, uh, again, the pen and ink work, and then a, just a subtle touch of watercolour as the um, flames begin to pick out from the branch and where the bloody hell are you subverted marketing statement from for tourists but uh, this is shows uh, the, the baby koala with a, on the back of the mother as if protecting inside a glass exhibition jar and then here's another representation of how to use or how i use pen and ink uh, and uh, this is a pen and, pen and ink drawing and then use a felt tip uh, with urban sketching. So this is sitting out in the scene um, and quickly capturing elements of what I'm looking at and picking out some either words, descriptions, something somebody might say, the scene around me, trying to quickly capture people going in and out of shopping, certain elements that I like and creating almost a mosaic urban sketch. So this is quick fire, done in about you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then mounted and framed up. So there's one of the Darwin Star, the old cinema in Darwin, which is now sort of a shopping centre. And then we have the Darwin Harbour. So one of the old boats that's been done up, fixed in Darwin Harbour, and then sort of to the right hand side, depicting some of what the Darwin Harbour looks like in total. The sort of title jumping out and matching in with the colour of the smaller lifeboat on the back or the fishing boat on the back of the other boat uh, and then the harbour details of the buildings in the background and then Diner Beach we've got here so I go get a couple of this is a very sort of typical scene within uh, Diner Beach which is sort of higgledy piggledy bits flag flying next to the cafe where you might have something to eat and the lights streaming over the across the top the birds fluttering across a yacht and a boat in the foreground and then here we have another medium so painting directly onto wood it's been uh, prepped it's old plywood it would have been chucked away as a waste material and uh, once the wood is primed with the sort of white acrylic paint, then I place on and paint on a, a, a watercolour ground on the painting surface. And that gives the ability to uh, paint on 
with the pen first, draw with the pen, and then paint on watercolour, and it acts then like watercolour paper. So I'm really happy with that style. It gives a very detailed drawing, and then you can go in with very free, spontaneous watercolour. So there's various seeds of Darwin here. So that's the Iron Ore Wharf, just up from Stokes Hill Wharf. And then we have the Parliament Building with some uh, ibis in the front yeah, foreground. The previous ones, that was Nightcliff Jetty, along the coast, and then Rapid Creek Bridge. So then we come to the final piece. So we'll bring in a sort of a, a combination of the different styles, which is a, a watercolour within the sky, Chinese ink giving the energy of the foreground, and then a tight but still loose detail, I should say, but still loose style of the jetty with the indelible ink on top.